All right, so this is what I want you to look at. Look at her little shoes. <laughs> but this is what I was out taking out these uh, zucchini plants. And I want you to see that the reason why some of them are able to withstand the attack of that vine borer is because that whole stem actually starts to root. Uh, you can see this was the original plant. And you can look at it all right here, right? The vine borer actually took that out. So I started cutting that out. And as I was pulling, I didn't know it had rooted this well because I'm trying to see like why is it still green even though it probably won't produce as well you can look over here and see this one over here is kind of producing a little bit but you can look down and you can see these roots that have actually rooted into the ground uh, this one here I'm gonna cut off well I'd already cut it off I know I got it all out but you can see vine borer went in ants are actually going in eating a little larvae and vine borers which if i can get in there without getting my hand bit you can see it right here let me see if i can focus that in you can see right there so the ants are actually all into this zucchini plant eating all those larvae, all those little vine borers. So maybe that's what's gonna keep the plant alive. I really wanted to take this plant out uh, because I got the beans coming behind it, but uh, I don't know if I wanna keep, keep on with the research. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prune some of these leaves. Let me back it up. I think what I wanna do is I wanna prune some of the leaves around it just so I can let my beans come through. And then I'll just leave that zucchini in place it might die because i've actually taken out so much you can see right here i've been cutting out so much of this root system that it may not be able to survive what i just did like it it may be able to survive the vine borer but what i just did it might not be able to but i'm gonna leave this one on this side and see whether or not it being rooted it's you can see over here it's it's rooted in the ground. Even though the vine borer has gotten to it here, it's still got more roots in the ground, not just right here. So that's why it's able to withstand and actually still putting off flowers. Like I said, it's not really a productive plant. Nine times out of 10, you would want to take these plants out. But if you're doing a little fun and you're doing a little research to seeing maybe how you can get past the vine borer, that might be one way to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and i'm just going to get these out the way this is going to hurt it as well maybe maybe not uh, but i need to get them out of the way anyway so my other plants can have some room to get through no these got little stickers on them baby i want you to get stuck So this is what I'm going to do with this. Mm -mm, you're going to get stuck. I'm telling you. You're not going to believe me till you're stuck. Then you're going to say, oh, I'm stuck. All right. So all I'm doing is cutting off all this stuff just to allow my new crop to come in that I got planted. And they're just purple hurl peas that we actually have planted. So I want space for that to be able to come in, get all that old stuff out the way anyway. And just for the research, get that old oak tree out of there. Look at that oak tree. Can make some good money off of that. Uh, just for the research, gonna leave that in. Take off some of these on this side as well. And this is not, look at that, that's a carrot. It's actually going to seed or a flower. We're gonna see if it goes to seed. Take out the rest of these that's in the way. Ah, got me.
That's gonna hurt. It is hurting. But that's how that's looking now. Because it's so much of a small root system, I'm gonna just leave it like that to see would it kick back off from whatever roots it has in the ground. If it dies out, oh well. But if it makes it and survives it to start giving us uh, a nice fall crop, that would be a win-win. I'll probably go up over here and prune these all down as well, just to that little bitty section right there. And we'll see what it do. So thank y'all for watching. Keep up on this one. I'll probably post this to YouTube and Facebook, um, but probably Facebook first and then YouTube after I see whether or not these survive. So thank y'all for watching. Look at this. Now that's beautiful, right? I call it my shower head sunflowers. It's like a little shower head up there. <laughs> I like the way that is. Thank y'all for watching.